Hi, this is Scorbic here, and I just want to go over EVHR's price building functionality. Um, this tool is pretty much used for buyback, so you know what you to set that up. You basically go to the buyback settings. So buyback setup price price builder setup and price uh, adjustments. So I have these three. Actually, I already had them opened. So this one is the setup. This is where you can do your tax rate for your corp. You can enable mineral pricing, which basically means it's going to use these to refine the ore to get the mineral prices. And you can set this up depending on your skill levels and what your station is. <coughs> and I'm going to remove this at some point. But this basically allows you, uh, allows the uh, removal of alts. Um, not relevant here, but it needs to move. So it's going to move in the future. And this is the price builder. So how this works is, let's say you want to do a new price builder. New price builder. Helps if I can type. And submit. And then I basically want to select that. Now, let's say I want to <coughs> common one I use is I get the market value um, so I kind of try to get like a range I want to do um, minimum sell and then I'm going to let's subtract by maximum so basically this would take the market value of the item and then it would subtract to the buy. And I can basically do that and I will get that price. It'll kind of be like in between the two. Uh, you can add rows to basically do whatever you want. So you could say, I also want to like multiply that value by 0.9. Uh, and then who knows? Uh, add 10 to it and then for who cares divide by three <laughs> Save. so now you have this price builder that basically does this craziness and then down here you want to set that to uh, sale because uh, it's for selling to corp. The orders one does not work currently. This is for a function of actually people buying items from the corp, so you could set a different price for that, but that currently doesn't work. So you just select, uh, refresh the screen. Those don't actually refresh. New price builder, GDA, you can select other markets if you want. Click save, and now you have your new price builder, and that's all set up. Over here is your price adjustment screen. What this will do basically is you can change um, any given price by a percentage. So let's say I want 10% off on this, 100% increase on that. Well, that doesn't look right. That's not right. That's probably a bug. Is this working online? Ow! <laughs> That's why. 
Okay. Yes. I didn't refresh because I have new price builder, which gives me new prices. So make sure you refresh the screen. I already had it open. So troubleshooting on the fly. All right. And that works properly now. <clears throat> so you can basically adjust these to whatever you want them to be. If you want to increase your demand for a particular item, uh, then that will increase the value of that ore so that people can, you know, see what the uh, ore values are and then basically mine that. Uh, we'll let that load up and then also pull up the uh, sales screen. Here you'll see this is the ore value listed by profitability depending on what your prices are. Um, ignore some of it. It's probably devalued because we don't want it. <coughs> but your court members can come in and say, all right, I need to mine this today. It's like super valuable. I can get so much of this. And then what they do is they would mine it and then basically sell it to the corp. So uh, if I... Pull up. Do I have any ore in here or drop off? Of course not. Ah, here we go. And crash. Okay. Uh, it's a non-relevant error. It wants to send an Eve mail, but can't. Um, so just ignore that. <coughs> See, it didn't actually cause any issue. It's like a soft crash. Uh, what we have here. So, gives me the total price for that, and then what I paid in corp tax, which is that 10% fee we had right here. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, hit me up on Discord. And if you want to support the project, join us on Patreon. Please like and subscribe. Thank you.